Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We want to suck of money like these stories every day. The ones that made President Ed Galung lose in 2021. Uh, we want people who have the fighting spirit that we had as PF before we formed the government in 2011 when we were opposition. Uh, the, 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 the Chotaia knows all of us we used to suffer sacrifice from our heart, campaign from our heart. That's how revolutions are won. Uh, political parties is not a company. And uh, so anybody that will feel the are into politics to make a living out of it, uh, then we are not interested in them. They are the ones that made PF uh, lose the game. Uh, introduce yourself before we end up with the high table. Thank you so much, Mr. President. So my name my name is Jerry Chama, Patrick Front, coming from Central Province. Thank you very much to the President. My name is Ayman Omele from Northwest Asia. I'm the chairperson of Northwest Province. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the president, the SG, and all the officials from this central committee. My name is Clement Fikonde. I'm the entry chair person for South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank the president for affording me this opportunity to attend the first central committee. My name is Dennis Kanyakuna. I'm a former district commissioner for Solwezi and Kabonko. I'm a member of Central Committee for the newly designated uh, PF. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I'm one of our ladies of Andrew, member of Parliament, Chama and South Constituent. We have learned that they have been. From Jing, I've not been written to <laughs> as to whether I've been replaced. Maybe you are maybe you're about to be promoted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Bonel uh, Bujola for the Patriotic Front. Yes, sir. Um, Honorable Azaras Chota, um, Deputy Chairman for the branded uh, patriotic friend under President Mao Samba. Thank you. My name is Mao Zwahia Emmanuel Samba, President of the political party called the Patriotic Front, short acronym PF, and uh, the official opposition party of Zambia. Uh, thank you, colleagues. Uh, 20, there's apologies from the chairman, Mr. Chama, and apologies from the chief whip, uh, Honorable Anton uh, Mumba, is in Furila. Mr. Chama also is out of town. Uh, essentially, we still have vacancies in the Central Committee of 10. It's deliberate, we're still scrutinizing a lot. And the provinces that still don't have chairperson is Western, um, Eastern, Uchipata, <laughs> the Malawi province. We, the reasonable Busha actually is still substantive chairperson up there. Um, 
and uh, Western Lusaka also, we are still assessing uh, and we have a lot of uh, credentials or CVs of potential chairpersons and we are still assessing. So there is no Lapula also we are assessing. Uh, we still to announce who we will state for. There is no two PF, there is one PF. Honorable uh, Mungandu, there is no, uh, at the point this 24th October, all those positions finished, but you are sitting in front, meaning you are above provincial, uh, we soon to, 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 to announce uh, your substantive um, position. Um, let me, before the media can leave us, let me just address uh, matters that are uh, very cardinal and of public interest. Um, the big one is uh, obviously the violence that happened in Petauke. We condemn any form of violence on anybody as a rebranded PF. That's part of our vision, part of our ethics. We believe, we believe in Mahatma Gandhi, we believe in Nelson Mandela, who fought wars and liberated their countries using peace and not using violence. We believe in Martin Luther King, who did not believe in violence. We all know if there's one single reason we as the former PF lost in 2021 is because of violence. Uh, a survey was done in all the provinces, everyone complained that our, our cadres used to beat up people, uh, they used to harass people at bus stations, they used to harass people at markets, they, were, they used to harass the policemen, they used to harass the soldiers, they were low onto the, themselves. We saw what happened in Petaroke, it was at a bus station. They take out citizens, regardless whether you like them, you like uh, Chama or you, you like Kapungwe or don't like them or hate them, they are citizens of Zambia. This I would say to protect any citizen that is abused or violence. If that grassroots media they use, they are jackers, tomorrow is beaten up, I will condemn that. Uh, anybody, if somebody belongs to socialist party or to the ruling party and they attacked in the manner that those two attacked yesterday I'll condemn that. It's not the Zambia that we want and now in this era of social media people who break rules, criminals, they are very foolish themselves. <laughs> they even create evidence of themselves. They take pictures of themselves committing the crime. They take videos of themselves committing the crime. There are things we have reports that in Petaroke, five out of the 11 they are looking for have been arrested. And the Zambia, Petaroke, Eastern province of Zambia is too small. They can run, but they can't hide. Even in Africa, you can run, you can't hide. Or even the whole world, you can run, but you can't hide, you'll be caught. You just uh, uh, delay. We, I travel around uh, countries of Africa. You see me traveling a lot, uh, just to make the point. I belong to the Pan-Africa Parliament. I'm the chairperson of the audit committee there. The committee is very busy, same as the park here. If this parliament is on recess, you will note that uh, Honorable, what's it, who's the chairman of the park? Honorable members, this committee sits even when we are on holiday because it's a busy committee. <laughs> Same with me, we sit nearly every week and as chairman, I have to travel to chair those meetings to audit our, uh, the AU, to audit the Pan-Africa Parliament, to audit Africa uh, because it's, we, uh, the, the Parliament and the AU is funded by public funds from Zambia, from Burundi, from Egypt, from all African countries. So there needs to audit that the funds are used well. So that's why you see me in and out of uh, South Africa for those meetings. Sometimes I live in the morning at 6 on the plane. I have meetings the day and at uh, 8, 6 p.m. I'm on a flight back. South Africa and Zambia now we're just like one country. It's like flying from Lusaka to Ndola. So you can go work right there and back. So whenever you see me on the plane, it's not like I love planes. I'm going for work. 
Um, so my point was, having been exposed to many countries in Africa and around the world, the only thing that Zambia has that most of African countries don't have is the peace. And wherever reports are written about Zambia is peace. Um, Andrew here live we met in Kinshasa. We were uh, monitoring elections there. I was observing elections. I'm not sure we can say that uh, Congo DR is so much peace. You know what's happening in the eastern Congo and elsewhere. And in many other countries, South Africa, where I go, <laughs> they stole my phone uh, 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 while I was looking at it, trying to call Yango, there the Uber. Uh, I'm standing like this, a guy just came from behind, grabbed my phone, ran it on the highway, a car stopped, jumped in, and I was chasing that car, and it left. That's how crime is there. So. In Zambia, we are known, uh, there's no such kind of crime, and there's peace. So those videos we saw there, that those foolish criminals videoed themselves, sends a big picture. Now you post on social media, the whole world would have seen those. And now you're creating an impression that in Zambia, now people are being abducted and beaten up. Uh, that is happening in Gaza. That's how the war started there. Isn't it the Israelites were, uh, were kidnapped and abducted and tortured and or vice versa? That's the war that goes on there. I would not go to Gaza because of that. So even if that's the image you want to create because you, you hate Mr. Brown, because you hate America, then you want to spoil the image of the country. Zambia has rules and laws I would like to commend the Zambia police for their swift action to rescue those two boys. Those two boys, you people watching and you Zambians and especially the hijackers, you've made those people become popular because you listen to them. Whatever they say, you respond. So you've made <laughs> politicians. That's how Honorable Bowman was made also a few years ago. Uh, those boys are going far because you, you, they've been made by Zambians. When they cough, you all listen and respond to them. When they scream, you listen to them. When they insult, you respond. Uh, uh, and allow me to take this opportunity. I've said it time and again to them, or anybody that supports me, don't insult anybody. Use civil language. If you insult, you do it on your own. You have no blessings for me. If someone sues you, I will not be part of it. Um, they, they insult, I cannot control what a car that decides to do. I get insulted myself, but where, before I used to respond, now I just watch. Only the other uh, day, a member of parliament was insulting me, I've been and so on. But have you seen me react? I just li listen and it falls off. Uh, so those who support me, if you truly believe in me, uh, America or ground, they are only two. There are many cadres that support me on social media. My appeal to you is don't use civil language, fight with your words, don't fight physically. Those boys were being beaten, they didn't even uh, reciprocate. Uh, they were being beaten because they insulted somebody. How about those that insult me? Should I also arrange people to go and beat them? No, I won't. Or should I beat them up myself? Because the MP was insulting me physically. If I wanted, I can discipline him physically uh, by one hand. Uh, but I won't do that. <laughs> Put us in the ring. I, I, I can just slap him around like, like my, my, my little son. Uh, and, and, but no, I'm a leader. I tolerate insult me if you want, but if uh, you go too far, I, then you defend me, I take you to court. I have a lot of court cases where I've said this is too much. You defend me, uh, and Max Chongo kept defaming me, defaming me. I didn't send people to beat him. I didn't go and beat him up myself. Maybe him we can go uh, 12 rounds in the ring, uh, but I'll do it on points. But no, I didn't do that. What did I do? I went to court, I've sued him for defamation, so he can prove his allegation. We will meet in court. Uh, that's what I do. But if I don't sue you, that means I've let you go away with it. So, those who get insulted, but I've asked them to stop. But if any Zambian insults you, take them to court. They are civil cases. 
And um, yeah, basically that, that's as much as I wanted to say, condemn that violence and uh, thank the police for arresting the perpetrators and those that are still on the run in Petauke. If anyone knows where they are, please report to the police because next is you will be violence. There's no monopoly to violence. Uh, violence is like karma. If you do it on somebody, it's a question of time before yourself you are, you are slapped. Those people who are slapping, beating those boys, it can happen to them as well. And the ones who send them, God has it that one day it will happen on them. So let's all desist from violence as Zambians. Let's keep the name of Zambia as a, a peaceful, peaceful nation. And, and the two things they talk about Zambia out there, peaceful nation and Kabushabwadia, ball, football. Still, I'm at, uh, uh, getting my passport stamped at an airport. Oh, Zambia, Kabushabwadia. So we are well known for football. They even talk about person these days. Uh, with that, I'd like to wish the Zambia national team the best of luck in the up upcoming Africa Cup. We still can do it and we can lift this cup. Thank you very much. Thank you, the media. Um, I don't know if I should take one or two questions, then we can be left to continue with the agenda of this PF Central Committee. Anyone with a burning question? Uh, the comment here said somebody that you are the next person to be beaten by the other camp. Do I look like I can be beaten? One, I've never been beaten in my life. Uh, today I went to visit uh, um, SML, uh, Tambala, Simon Mwembeshi prison. So we had a chat. He's a colleague, friend, who come a long way. So he was telling me, ah, I don't know, have you ever been in, a, in, in the cells before, in prison? I said, I learned early in life. <laughs> because uh, when I was young, I slept at Kabwata police station and it was out of a fight at, at Mike's car wash. People attacked my brother. By the end of that evening, I'd beaten the entire Mike's car wash alone. <laughs> alone. <laughs> alone. They say we're not there. They not there. That was a long time ago. Alone. And I left there with one sneaker, one sneaker lost, or it was lost, but seeing them beating my brother, those people were attacking him, I ended up beating them, and whoever was coming, I beat them up, bottles were smashed, and I slept, I was arrested, slept at uh, Kawata, police cells, and it was very cold, I remember, I was young. After that, I said, it was only day two when I, I was taken out on bond, but I learned my lesson early, I stay clear of the law, I know the laws, I don't break the laws, but no, I've never been beaten in my life, and, uh, and no one can beat me uh, to start with, physically or otherwise, no matter how many they are, that I can promise them. So uh, they can plan, but gives me a chance to even address this thing, oh yes, policemen guarding them, no, I have private any politician worth of your sort, <laughs> I hear with Malema at the parliament, he comes. When he comes to parliament, he doesn't come alone. He comes with his uh, personal bodyguards. They wear suits. These are my personal bodyguards uh, there. They are private. Boko Boko Police. Ah, uh, uh, This one, this one, uh, uh, Chinga, ask him, Chinga, I mean. Hello? Yeah. Sorry, okay. Chinga, come and stand here. Chinga is special to me because I recruited him in PF as a security man for, for Michael Sata. What year was that, Chinga? 2005 or so. Chinga used to play football for Red Arrows and he was in Matero. I used to watch him uh, play for Tigers. 
then I recruited him for, for security for Michael Sata. Later on, he went and became security for Shima Kamwiri. I don't know what transpired, but by the time I've linked up, he called me that he needs a job. They, they have not been working together. And, and also allow me to take this opportunity to wish Honorable Shima Kamwiri a quick recovery. So he's, he's private, he's not police. Are you a policeman? And uh, uh, he's licensed, he moved with a firearm, with a, uh, with a license. Balam? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a, he's a security man. That's what, how he makes his living. You hire him, you pay him. And he has a license to carry a gun. Any politician, unless you are not popular, otherwise you don't need uh, uh, protection. Uh, Barack Obama moves with protection. Protection. Uh, uh, unless to then you can walk along. So you don't expect me to be a president of a, a biggest uh, opposition political party and move along. Uh, sometimes some fans, you go in the market, they come in huge numbers and they searched me last time in my own constituents. So you need security. And, uh, politician who is popular needs security. No, it's not the Zambia police. It is private security people, bodyguards for myself, paid for by myself, not even paid for by PF. Uh, so uh, I wanted to make that clarification. So those who are saying who, who attack me, first they can break the law, we'll get them arrested, but I wish them luck. They, they should come. Now, about, what did they used to say? I'm a, I'm a same nation. Amazon. Amazon. Failed to to protect the votes in 2021. You know, the point is, I detest violence. I'll protect every Zambian, whether you support me or not, from violence. And let's desist from violence. Let's fight with words. If it's democracy, let's learn to win or lose. In 2014, I lost, I was dribbled in Kawe Convention, let's not even go there. Um, and uh, in 2023, we have won. Those who are grieved, they've gone to court. In 2014, we were grieved, we went to court, we lost. The matter is in court. The preliminaries, they have lost, and we're wishing them luck. That's democracy. You mentioned, Honorable, that Honorable uh, Davis John is supposed to be in attendance. Uh, does that mean that he has joined the branded PF and is he a member of the Central Committee? I will not speak for Honorable Davis Chama, but we have uh, indicated to him that we are willing to work with him as chairman. Uh, he's, he was uh, expelled from the previous, suspended from the previous PF, a central committee, which is non-existent now. They are masqueraders. No matter how much they masquerade, <laughs> they can do it every day. No matter how much they go to the PF secretary, they're still not the owners. It's the uh, politics we are taught by Sata is not the beauty. In any case, <laughs> The SG, we, we are having the title deed for that building. So it's not, they can go there as much as they want. We're not, they want physical fights. Not that they can beat us. Nobody among us masqueraders, one on one, can beat me. <laughs> so, so it's not, it, it, we are not scared of them. We just don't want to play politics or violence. violence. That's part of the rebranding. So if they think going to Secretariat makes them PF, they can enjoy it. It's just a building. We have the title deed. So um, it means nothing. Politics is in the mind and where you are. And uh, they say uh, about where you meet is where you can hold a meeting, like we've met here. Uh, so uh, I'd, I'd let Honorable Dave Chama speak for himself, but our door is open uh, and we've indicated to him that as far as we are concerned he's our chairman he made an apology uh, he's out of town allow me also to make this last point because something has come to my mind our rebranded position is that anyone who's facing court cases for whatever reason they are innocent until proven guilty uh, whether be it for corruption, whether be it for uh, mismanagement or criminal or civil, 
uh, our party's position is you are innocent until proven guilty. Where Chitambara was innocent, but he, he proved himself guilty. Uh, point is, we all know where the error was. Uh, maybe thought this was America. He represented himself when he can afford a lawyer. So with that, uh, he obviously, technicalities, he didn't meet them. And he, uh, I was assuring him that the lawyers have said upon appeal, uh, there's higher chances that that would be reversed. So uh, he's guilty. That's why he's in the prison. He was found guilty. So same with the PF now we granted our position is everybody facing court cases for whatever reason a bit our former members bit former ministers uh, as far as we're concerned they are innocent until pronounced uh, guilty last one about, not to preempt uh, some of what we really spoke about in the central committee meeting but we expect you to make new appointments and what is the status quo for those that you had suspended or expelled well, that I can't comment. Members of Parliament who expelled the matter is in court. They've taken it to court and we're also uh, being represented in court. So now that one, we need to go all the way to the judgment. And if the judgment is against them, then there will be by elections. And if the judgment is in their favor, they will choose either to remain PF or become independent. That's how the Constitution uh, uh, says it. Uh, but appointments, well, like I said, we're being thorough. We are not in a haste. We are scrutinizing, and that's partly what we are discussing. So if we, it so happens that we agree on an appointment after this meeting, then we will announce accordingly. But uh, allow me to thank uh, the, the Vice Chairman and the SG. Uh, Rachota here represents the Sata generation for wisdom. He was a friend to Michael Sata, suffered with the party for many years. And uh, this is the MP for Chadiza, Dhaka. Very brave man, very brave. This one is the MP for Chama South. <laughs> very brave. <laughs> also very brave sometimes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, colleagues of the media. And uh, we would like you to be Mr. President. Yes, we just comment on the uh, request uh, something that came out in the media. Yes. Uh, where our discussion, uh, I, 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 I actually came out on one of the TV program where he made the commitment that he should PF members think you can't win. Uh, we are free to, to let in another person to, to contest uh, 2026. 20, and uh, not only that, uh, the need for, for unity, I'm sure, we are all here in order to build one, one beef. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are all here. So uh, I expected journalists to, because uh, everyone said, you know, Gandhi, you were more like made up the, the story, and yet it was something that he was out of an interaction. If you maybe you can comment on that. No, let me answer. You are not a come back convention. There is not going to be any convention. Uh, we were elected on 24th October, Kwamana, that's it. The term is five years. Um, so as it is, Mao Samba will be the candid presidential candidate for election 2026, but is correct. Um, we are not in power. I'm not in politics just to be myself. Me, me, me and myself. Those who know me, I'm very flexible. Uh, if it so happens, we get to 2026 general election. This central committee so feels that uh, Mao Samba, you, you, you cannot win elections. We want to try Bachota. We want to try SG. We want to try, we think Dhaka can win. We think Mungando can win. What I indicated is at that time, this central committee, well, myself, it's a possibility. And also, I made it very clear the other day to uh, journalists or diggers, in my life I've never lost any election. <laughs> and when I stand, I win landslide. Why I weigh, I see what's happening. In Matero 2011, I won landslide. Number one, no country. 2021 material also landslide. Yes, it's a combination of the party and an individual. 
But where in Lusaka somewhere losing with a landslide, like the MP for Munadi lost with a landslide, and the MP for Kabata lost with a landslide, Kanyama lost with a landslide. So how come Malsampa won with a landslide? So that means a combination of Malsampa and PF is unbeatable. Is unbeatable. So um, I wear, even as mayor, I, I won with a landslide. So I weigh myself. In 2011, uh, 2014, when Sata died, I weighed myself. I looked at the opponent. Hmm, Apa, uh, nobody can beat me. I stood and I won. Those who know facts, uh, they will know that I won. But we were dribbled. In 2023, general election, uh, PF internal elections, I, I stood. SG, didn't I win with a landslide on 24th October? It was a uh, resounding victory. Yes. So, point is, if you see me standing in any election, just know that I'm going to win. So, in 2026, if I see that, mm, even if I stand here as PF president, I won't win the party, I will not win. I may, I may be, be, be the first one to say, uh, maybe Mungandu, you, you bring more votes for and which part. Uh, so, and elsewhere, for whatever reason or whatever. So, I indicated that I'll be flexible at the time. My life and my politics is not about being president. It's about helping the people of Zambia, being involved in speaking. <laughs> Here it is. I'm speaking for everybody that is being beaten. And and challenge me one day if anyone is beaten and I keep quiet. I'll speak regardless of who they are. This time, the people who are violently beaten is Kapungwe and uh, Ground and America. And I've seen some <laughs> senior people, they are happy. <laughs> like Ivan Kanduru, they are happy. How evil can people be? That's somebody's child. Uh, they have mothers, they have wives, they have parents. Uh, what would you feel if it's, that is done to your son? So this is politics. Don't. Uh, if you can be happy of that, that means you'll be happy for somebody to be killed. Then you are not a Christian. You are wrong to be in a Christian nation. Anybody that barbaric act is done in Zambia, we should condemn, regardless of which party they belong to. Let's expose love and not hatred. Uh, if you want to condemn them, I've condemned them for using a, a insulting language to anybody. But be kind to condemn them and condemn the people on your side that are also insulting. It's not right to insult. Uh, so let's condemn uh, violence. Uh, that's why I'm in politics. People at Corella there, I went. People were telling me, don't go, wala, wala, no. I have to go and help. And I encouraged those people where Chaz was there, we went in there. Uh, what I saw in that hero stadium is unbelievable. Uh, especially where you are the mothers and their, the, the children. Their children's eyes are sunk. I dropped a tear. I failed to speak. I was just saying, wala, wala, was a polar. But I walked away quickly because I felt like trying to see little children suffering almost on their deathbed uh, so i went there to help them i was allowed in i'm a politician some of them i was encouraging them Muzacho comes up polar and if afterwards the few have called me actually you are right uh, so sometimes as a politician we give encouragement that's why i'm in politics to help fellow mankind not just to be president president if it's in god's plans that Mao Samba will be president of zambia no matter what you do wherever you are you don't want him to be president he will be president and they don't learn they used to say to a church hey, church will never be president he was president that preacher was saying in the UCZ, even my brother Ed Galungo, others said he would never be, be he was president. So even me, Ankanduruo, no matter Nabamundipiri, no matter how you say, Maos, Tete, Tete, it's not up to you, it's up to God. Even on Sata, they used to say, Sata will never be president, Ali Pena, hey, Shani, Shani. He won. The same people are saying that like when in Nakachinda, they come to eat in his party. So, uh, leadership is given by God. If it's in God's plan, if God planned that Mao Sampa will be PF president, here it is, 24th October, I was PF president. Uh, we liberated PF from my jackets. They were holding it. 
they now try to blame everybody other than themselves. 2021 elections, they blame everybody. They don't agree they lost Weche. As they rebranded, we agree that PF to Aribu start, UPN and HH. It's a start point. Then we see, why did we lose? Violence. This rebranded, we don't want violence. Why did we lose? Liking too much money. This rebranded, we sacrifice. We fight from the inside. That's how revolution is made. Um, they are in denial. Uh, we won on 24th October. No matter how they, they are in denial, facts are facts. They can keep lying to them. Nothing will change. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. With the record of you winning the last minutes, are we expecting or are we expecting you at all and given the chance for this government to stand and then give with the confidence and how you have seen the ground so far? Do you see yourself also winning the same record that you have been winning? You see me on the ballot box 26, I win with a landslide. Each time you see me on the, on the ballot box, that means I'm convinced that I'm going to win. If you don't see me on, in 2016, I, st I stood out when the hijackers were chasing me out of PF. I didn't stand as mayor, I didn't stand as president, they registered my party. I didn't stand as the uh, MP, others were saying stand as the independent in material. No, I wait. I said, let me stay out. I just, I didn't stand for any position. So, yes, if I, whenever you see me stand, be it 2026 as president, 2031 as president, just know that uh, I'm winning by landslide. And when, I, and when I support someone, if it's not me, I say Nichidaka, it's my boy who stand. That means I'm convinced he's going to win in Chadiza. They will bring all the votes of the Chewas. Greetings from Mozambique, by the way. I met an MP, they are always telling me the Chewas are there. So, meaning I'm convinced and I'll support him. I also don't support anyone that loses. In 2011, I told Michael Sata, we're taking you to State House. Movie TV is there, I was with Costa. Uh, when I said, we will walk from Matero and take President Sata to State House. And we bring so many votes in Matero, it came to pass. We brought so highest votes in Matero, and we walked to state house to take it. Uh, in, in 2015, I supported President Ed Galungu, and he won. In 2016, I supported President HH and he won. He was dribbled. <laughs> in, <laughs> in 2021, but me, I won. But I, I, well, I wasn't involved so much in the campaign of President uh, Ed Kalungu. I, I was just confined in my terror. They were, uh, as for HH in 2016, I was around the country and we won, but the election was stolen from him. In 2021, President Ed Kalungu, people who are campaigning for him was Baluo, Baba, even Mujinda. Those are the ones who lost with him. Me, I won the landslide in my terror. The SG is telling me that we run out of time. Thank you very much, uh, the media. Thank you, uh, Mouse and Papage, uh, Prime TV. Thank you, Diamond TV. Thank you, Kalemba, and everyone that's joining us live. We now ask that we are left to do the rest of our agenda that is not for public consumption. Thank you very much. Members of the Central Committee and um, the press. Just the press. Members of the press, yeah. There's some tea. As you go out and you're right, you can take some snack there and uh, some tea. Let's we need time to talk to you make a more person. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.